Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut season, North Top, you stop breathing. Number two of, you know, lackluster boxing. And I'll let P lead into that because I can't bash it too much, but there's some definitely some criticism. I know Android wants us to go in. So King P, lead us in. All right, so let's get it. Your, your boy was at the uh, top rank car, uh, Puerto Rican Day weekend. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, myself, the Rican with the other Ricans. And surprisingly, I will say the Ricans were well behaved. I was expecting worse. I was expecting them to wild out, but they were good. So, well, there was nothing too for them to wild. Out. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, listen. I, honest. Well, no. Honestly, that's the thing. Like, you put a, you get a couple of Ricans, and you don't give them something to wild out over. They'll find something to wild out of. So, like, they just get in. They just get together and don't know how to act. But they were well behaved. So, I thought. I thought the the lull in action would make them worse, but it actually did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying? It was a good atmosphere. I'll say that. Uh, shout out to Top Rank. They treated your boy well. Um, Word. You know what I'm saying? They looked out. Good seats. Uh, the, the atmosphere was good. Um, it was structured well. It's like it wasn't some of the nonsense that in other cards you get. So at least everything was smooth sailing. Uh, MSG was good, so you know how you know how that is. We with we went to other arenas where everything is madness. This is not madness, so I'll, I'll give them that. And I covered you know what I'm talking myself. about. I can so I can yeah. sign that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Pat, because we went through that. We didn't go through that this time. Right. Uh, shout out to Katie, always a very nice lady. Uh, yes, sir. We always I was chopping up with her for a bit. She's friendly. She likes to talk. Cool, cool people. Um. So, I don't want to go too too hard on top right for the for the for the card. I will offer this. I will say this, and this was my biggest uh, issue: uh, the pacing. And I feel like I've said this for Lord knows how long. <laughs> I, can you, for once, properly pace a card? Like, this is nonsense that every time we have these events, especially in New York, y'all don't know how to pace a card properly. First off, there was, you could have cut half those fights. Like, some of those fights at the in the beginning were bleh, a, a <laughs> packs of packs of me. Uh, I mean, I let Ali Felix shout out to him. He's a young kid making it, uh, you know, making his second fight. Appearance, you know, he. I heard a lot about him. I've heard he's very talented. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing him, you know, fight more in the future, uh, especially because he's a local. Um, and Fal Falcone, Ofasio Falcone, another local. So, don't, you know, I'm, I'm cool to see them. But also, why did we start at seven o'clock? That was actually one of the things. Like, we started at seven o'clock. So you would think, okay, if we started at seven. We'll have a couple of cards. We should get into the uh, televised portion by 10 o'clock. This, right. this fight stretched, stretched, like stretched like Dalsim, Mr. Fantastic type stretch. Like <laughs> these arms just kept stretching and stretch. And it was just like, yo, dog, like, why are we doing like, okay, the fight's over. Move on to the next one. There was no need for them to wait 20 minutes or half hour. To start the next fight i'm just like okay i get it y'all wanted it to start at a specific time but if the first fight if that other fight ended early just move forward like it's ridiculous that we always have to complain about the timing of these fights and the card like there was no reason why that event should have ended at one o'clock at night one o'clock at night that is unacceptable and i feel like we keep saying this and on deaf ears. Hell yeah. Yo, that's crazy because, like, the Broner card was damn. I think the main event, I almost, like, woke up too late for that. So I took a little nap or some shit happened. And I'm like, damn, I think the Broner, the main event was starting at, like, 9.30. Like. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's that's crazy. Like, but, yeah, Top Rank right be killing it with them damn vampire cards, yo. Yes, yeah, the vampire cards. It's, it's ridiculous. So uh, oh, so here so here's okay. here's my here's my thing. Oh, I, was, hold on. I, I, I was gonna oh, say one last thing. One last okay. thing. Okay. 
and I wasn't there. I, I couldn't hear it because I was there. But I was texted a couple of times about certain things that were said. If y'all are going to, if Top Rank is going to have Mark Kriegel do these interviews, can you tell him to have some goddamn sense and ask better fucking questions? Please. Like, it's ridiculous the things that he says because it's so stupid. Like, I, his, I've questioned his interviewer skills for a while, but like, he's just straight awful. He sucks. Pause. He asks yeah. the dumbest questions. N- nothing, nothing he says makes any sense. Like, honestly, I'm not, I'm surprised that one of these fighters don't steal off on him because of the stupid things he asks. Like, please, if, if you're not going to get somebody better than Kriegel, prep him better to ask better questions. Damn it. Yeah. No, right, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that, uh, among other things too. It's like you have the you have a top you have the top pound for pound fighter in the world in your venue, and you have him over there. You sit next to him, and you can't ask him any decent questions. Like, I mean, is it that hard to prep? To ask? I mean, Monster has so much going on in his in that uh, that we we reiterate verbatim, like what's going on in his in his pugilistic life. But you can't ask him anything like that's even like even decent like are you serious like, nah man you know yeah these niggas they don't want monster to shine bro come on man and they, they had him there they didn't even have him front row they had him out like you know like he was one of them they, bored. they had him they, I think they, it was bored. they they couldn't have him throw out no first pitch they got him up in the nosebleeds at baseball games like and they, they treat he, this nigga like ball. a nobody I see. I see Karma in the comments. Shout out to Karma. Uh, Broner's Salute. fight wasn't originally the Broner's fight wasn't originally the main. Yeah, event. we just hoped it happened. Like, <laughs> remember the flyer said uh, if, if he, he shows, shows up. up. If he yeah. shows but up. My, my whole point was that was the, the, the card was being sold off his name and that fight and their antics. But you got that fight at like nine thirty, nine forty five. What? Which is the time niggas really want to see main events, yo. Or at least the one of the the co mains, or you know the the, the fights that we want to see. Like no one's trying to see the fucking mid Carter damn yeah, yeah. And, and NBA was, development yeah, league yeah. ass niggas at you know at nine thirty ten o'clock. Like nah nah, y'all had y'all time at like six thirty seven o'clock, motherfucker. Like now it's time for the you know the. The, the up there motherfuckers, the, the, the niggas who the Showtime niggas, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the and ones that, who made it. And and that's the problem that Top Rank is starting. It's there now. I mean, obviously, this is we've called it out before in the past. You know, I would say they'll either have a fire main event and the rest are kind of nonsense, or a fire co main, but the main event is trash. And then the, and then the, the, you know, the undercard before that is just like just the usual showcase, jobber festival, however you want to call it. But on this card, there was just like no redeeming qualities. Like if I, it, it started from the main event. Like I, I get it. Like Top Break has a lot of has a lot invested in Xander Zayas and everything like that. But I, I'm starting not to see it in dude. Like I'm just like he's 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 starting to like I'm like nah this this this. Oh, I actually want to hear this because I had a good so, discussion so, with Luki yesterday. So y'all I'll, y'all I'll, tell me what is it is what is it about I'll, Zayas y'all don't see. I want to hear I'll this. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I, I was there, so I'll say this. And I actually was having this conversation with people that were there that were just we were just talking. Um Zayas is a Zayas is a kid uh that one still hasn't grown into his man strength. You know, it is what it is. But he's a guy that has some boxing skills that he'll box with you. He'll like I'm in a mid-range jab you, counter you sometimes. Um use employ movement. But goddamn, he does have he has no sense of aggression or killer instinct at all. That's at that's all. that's perfectly perfectly well said. Yeah, it's like, and, and this is Patrick Tashira. I mean, I get Tashira is you know he's he does have a amount of danger, but come on, like I mean, at least act like you want to put him away. Brian Castano, like at the end of the fight, damn near had him ready to go and be, was beating the shit out of him. And, like, and here's the thing. And here's the thing. This is a Patrick Tashira that. He this is his first. He hasn't fought at 154 in like four years. Mm. He's been fighting at as high as 168. In his last fight, he was at 170. He came in at 170. 
So I'm the guy came in and he was clearly drained. Like mm. you can't like you coming back down that many pounds after four years, and he looked lackadaisical. He looked old, and for all that Zayas was touching him, pause. He did not at one point ever really hurt him. I did not see one point where Teixeira was seriously nah, hurt he, or on the road. He, he buzzed him real good. I think within the last two rounds. At, like, at the, no, in the, in the 12th round, that was the the most that he had hurt Teixeira. And I didn't even feel Teixeira was ready to go. And even if he was ready to go. Nah, I felt like it was a good wake him up shot. Like, oh shit, yeah. this kicked the hit. <laughs> but here's the thing. Even if he was ready to go, Zanders was never going to put him away because he don't because he's not just going to uh, bring it to him. He's not going to be aggressive and try to finish him. He's just going to la la la. I'm gonna punch you. I'll punch you. Like the, hit you with the hard right. Hit you with the left hook. All the punches were there, but nothing was really like a lot of wasn't a lot of authority behind it. It was just ugh, it was lackadaisical. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it didn't make for good TV because I, I, it, it was boring. Like it was. I'm over here thinking like. Yeah, this is like I, I'm not uh, like you, you like they gave you to share for a reason. I, I'm not looking. I'm not looking for a like as LB would say, a sweet sciencey moment. Like that's that's which is what it was. Hey, yeah, so I, look, I'll, I'll sum I'll, it up like this. I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll, this. I'll, go ahead. Oh, right, go ahead. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead yeah, I, I'll, just, I just got a quick bar. I'm gonna just get off. Yeah, go ahead. Go I ahead. just said this yesterday. Does Luki alluded that it's the reason why we because we expect more from Zayas because the way he's marketed and billed and that's the biggest problem they're making him out to be the next trinidad but he's giving us arnold barbosa <laughs> Yo, nowhere near trinidad nowhere near trinidad like this is not even that's but that's how they present him he's not even walmart but look how they're presenting him yeah they're like, they're, yeah they're, it's like yeah he's following like, this lineage but like Kodo, all of them, like, no, they all, Kodo, even before he disgraced himself, Kodo was actually, you know, doing what he was supposed to do on the build. Like, he was getting people to, he was getting rid of people, he was beating up people. Like, this is like, you know, it, it's nothing like Zayas is actually doing. And and the worst part was like, I mean, it's going to say the worst part. One thing that I got, I get a little annoyed at was uh, in the post fight, in the post fight presser, we talked about, you know, we talked to Zayas about like his, you know, going into the match, like his plans, anything, like any adjustments he was trying to make, and if he there was any concerted effort to get him out of there at any point. And he basically just credited, like, credited to Shara for being too crafty and too tricky, and that he was just in survival mode and didn't want to engage. But it's like, okay, that's all well, but why are you not like you're up? You are clearly up in the cards. This is a a Big event, Puerto Rico. You're repping for Puerto Rico. It's Puerto Rican Day event. Like, why don't you send these fans home happy? You're not going to lose on any of the cards. He wasn't going to, wasn't in danger of knocking you out with anything. Why don't you at least try to step on the gas in the past three rounds and try to actually get him out of there and make a statement? Like, it's, it's too, we see too much of these fighters that just are just too, okay, you know what? He don't want to engage. So I'm not going to engage either. The gentleman's agreement, I'm here, he's going to run. And I'm just gonna chase you around casually, la 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 la. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna put my agreed phone. facts. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just be in cruise control. You know, what I'm saying the speed limit is 30. I'm gonna just do 30. You know, talk what I'm to them I mean? niggas. Yeah, it, well, he's no, you know, not he's, talk to them niggas. No, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, nobody's yeah. around. You know, what I'm saying it's 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 we're on the highway. I I, I could go 70, but I'm gonna just do do cruise my control. the bare minimum 55. La 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 la. la. Like, well. <laughs> That is boring. Here's 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 my thing. I know. Hey, you know what? I didn't see. I didn't find the fight boring. No, it wasn't boring. But I felt it was like. I mean, it was missing a second gear. Like it was missing I second gear. Like, yeah. Because because don't get me wrong. Um, what's his name? Tashira was being crafty, and he was fighting back. But it was never do. It was never something where i felt like okay like he's making a real good stand zay has got to dig deep it was nothing that zay has couldn't overcome so i i agree with you the one thing i give credit to zay is i like that his work weight work rate never dropped off 
he is steady and that's missing in a lot of young fighters uh, yeah. so that's why it also kind of looks that he's lacking that killer instinct where it's like you know you got the work rate so i don't think it's a stamina issue like you got the output but, but, i mean maybe the, that's, yeah. the, that's the annoying thing about it it doesn't drop off but it doesn't pick up either and it's like there's a time for cruise control and there's a time that you just got to pick it up and just do something no no i, I agree but if, if we're trying to i guess and i hate because this sounds like these niggas and this is a voting year so we're going to hear this a thousand more times until whatever the fuck uh november if we had to choose the lesser of two evils oh my goodness oh. <laughs> give me the guy who's gonna have the steady work rate that doesn't drop off over the guy who peaks and valleys and he'll, he'll give you 12 punches one round he's five, 50 punches the next round well here's my thing with zaya zaya says you know i mean you know he, he's young Young enough, you know, 21. Um, and at one, I know he grew out of 147. He started at 147. His power hasn't really been there at 154. I mean, now nah, his that. power is there. Like not, you I mean, hear his shots. Uh, he's just wrong. not. I mean, did, did you see the Jaha Tucker fight? Down on everyone. Like he's not, not fucking. Yeah. Did you see temperament? Did you, did you see the Jaha Tucker fight against Quincy Lavellas? Of course. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah so, so if you if you recall, maybe a couple years ago, Zayas fought that guy, um, and he couldn't stop him. Jahai rocked him more. I'm just saying Jahai in that fight well, rocked well, well, Once again, he he, did, he probably could have stopped him if he had actually made a concerted effort to step on the guys. No, he was trying. If he, he, was, trying to stop him in that fight. He, he was fake trying. That was one of those. I'm a yeah, like, right. like bullshit and too much. Yeah, he's like I'm a I'm a like with Zayas it was like with with Zayas against him it was I'm gonna just fake look like I'm pick um. Uh, making an effort to try to get him out of there, but not really picking up the pace or doing anything that would actually uh, help in getting him out of there. It was fake aggression. Uh, yeah, because Tucker, then it comes down to punch selection. So yeah, I, I get what King P said. And then Tucker was just, ugh, that was a rough fight, honestly. Like yeah. Tucker really beat him. I mean, Tucker won that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and like the shoot, I mean, Shushu did what he was supposed to, and you know, he got him out out of there, you know. But it, it's like. No, number one topic I, I get it you know i mean i mean shushu gave monster his respect and you know as, as he should you know but top rank needs to be very careful not to rush him into a fight that he has no business being in like they got religion this is whole identity and i don't like that at all if he's playing into it and the american fans in their desperation to have king kong go against godzilla you know these well, niggas is overplaying it. So, like, well, let this guy make his well, career. I, get I his ass out. Let me ask you real quick. This. I will say this because I was there uh, with the press conference with him. To Shushu's credit, he is like, he's saying all the right things. I'll say that. And he, he even said, listen, I would welcome a fight with anyway. I would love it. But he's not going to go seeking it. He's not going to be pressing the issue right now. His main issue is getting a title fight at 126. He can't force Inouye to do anything. Inouye so, is going to do what he wants he, to do. He understands that. He respects that. So right now, is he, he's focusing on his own path. He wants a title fight. He wants the big would he fight. Beat, would he beat Bernardo Lopez? Would he, or did he, or did he hit the fight at Joe at level first? You know, Not or, yet. Not yet. At this like, point, I like, How about you, Pat? Do you think he could beat Bernardo Lopez? Or no, not, not yet. Would the jump to do I think he could beat not Bernardo yet. Lopez? Not or yet. Should he, or, should he fight, or should he fight a Baez Villa first, and then you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or I mean, Lopez. Get, I mean, it's, uh, Lopez right now is on a hot streak right now. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I know. I know, but he's he's been beat because honestly, it, w one of the issues is I I feel that sometimes Shushu gets takes a bit to get going. He's an, another one that's a slow starter and gets touched up sometimes, like by people that really shouldn't be touching him up. Pause. Like this dude. This dude. They got. De, uh Garcia was actually touching him up more than I thought he would. I'm like, wait, he why, is he, why is he running in? Why is he running into these shots? Like, but, but, but he's, monster, he's being reckless. Like, and even like, because I was there, and his team was like, yo, like, slow it down, slow it down. Like, he, he was being mad reckless and mad antsy, and even his corner was just like not feeling that. He, like, yeah, he, he, he's a jam. He gets, right a, little, he gets a little. Antsy is the right. Antsy is the right word. He gets very antsy. Yeah, and, and that shows even when he's like 
really trying to get the guy out of there or like put pressure on him and walk him down. It's like, that's good. I like to see that, but be more methodical. Like, don't just be reckless and rush up and just put a bunch of punches together that against a better fighter, he'll punch right with you and you might be hurt if it's an actual puncher. Like, if Shushu's fighting an actual puncher, I'd be kind of worried, to be honest with you. Because he's going to leave himself open in exchanges because he's too reckless and who knows what his chin will be like. That's what, yeah. We'll find out what his chin will be like soon enough. I'll say that. You don't, you don't want to let him find out against Monster. Yeah, yeah right. against Monster right away. I mean, the thing is, he's, you know, older. He's 27. He only has 12 fights or 13 fights, and he's, you know, he's 27. He's an older, pro, quote-unquote, prospender, I like to say. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, right on the cusp of being a contender. So I don't know if he's ready for I mean, I think he would beat a Joette Gonzalez or a, 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 a you know, a Villa or, or Eduardo Baez or one of those well, guys. Villa would, no, Villa, I mean, Villa would be tricky for That's actually Villa a good fight for Stitcher. He probably Villa wins is a tricky fight. I mean, yeah, yeah, all, all three of those fights are good fights, actually. Man. But uh, I feel like, if, I mean, the way they're, you know, him doing his no, you know, black poppy that she York City acting like he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> well, um, I, mean, I mean, listen, I some people were upset at that. A couple of people actually texted me to ask me what I thought about the Shira Rika thing. I didn't mind. I thought it was clever. I I, I thought it was funny. So I, I got a laugh out of it. But I can see why some people uh, would have an issue with it. Because then the problem is Top Rank always goes a little too overboard yeah. with that. Like, as long as it's a one-time thing. If it's a one-off, it's fine. But if he continues that shit, you know, it's kind of like... Nah, but I mean, like, his, his whole team was wearing uh, Puerto Rico track suits with, like, Malcolm X hat. Uh, hats, which was actually kind of funny, like but cool. nasty work. I'm sorry, I was like, that's cool. nasty work. Yeah, I'm like, okay, they, they play the, they doing the Boricua Morena. I'm like, okay, you know what? Cool. I, I'm all, I'm all right with it. I'll allow it. But the not, thing is, is it, there's something there with him. You know, what I'm saying like I, I, some people on the timeline are trying to compare. I, him, think, you know. I think he has, he has potential, and he's moving along nicely, but he's not ready for yeah, yeah, these big yeah. fights. He still needs a couple more fights and to like slightly tune a couple things. Uh, you know, like I mean, there's some things like, he needs NBA to work players on. Call me, you know, NBA players, Damian Lillard called him the Crawford, you know, and I've seen a few. And, and that was stupid. Please, like, honestly, no, no, I no, like that. Good. I like that Dame is an actual, like, he really does like the sport and is really a fan of the sport. But he got to stop saying really stupid things. Some, like some of the things he said <laughs> were nonsensical. Like... He, I've seen like him want fights that don't make any sense. Don't make any and like sense. I still never forget when he said with the monster, I'm not sold. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right we're, we're getting a little too much. So yeah. I, I like his enthusiasm, but this is a case of him just saying silly things. So Yeah. Yeah. Stop stop the tank bud the, the tank bud comparisons for any counter puncher you know, quote unquote mock artist. Let's, let's stop that shit. That's all that's like. Yeah, yeah, let uh, these niggas get some more fights before we start comparing them to other dudes who's like Hall of Famers and shit. Also, Pilot, I honestly, I, I heard you say that, but like, honestly, that's kind of getting a little annoying. It's funny, but it's annoying how now, why are we always like with every fighter? He's only this age. He's only that age. Like, and we make a joke about Jared Anderson. He's always like, yo, I'm only 23. And I'm like, yo, can we stop saying that? Like, oh, I'm only 23. I'm only 25. I'm only 21. I'm I'm saying, saying, yeah, I'm that's the thing. What is up with this no, era? No, no, no. Well, him, him being 27, it's like he's a little old for a little old for where he's at in a sense. You know what I mean? No, it's just the I'm only. I'm only this age. I'm only that age. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, okay. I'm only man. that. Like, like, nigga, like, we're all only something. Like, the fuck out of here. Like, but I, I think it's because these niggas' careers be taking so long to kick off. So it's like, <laughs> we start hearing numbers and we just start, well, he's only, well, he's only, like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Well, also, another guy that I just don't think he's it, that he also fought before him, Tiger Johnson. I I don't see it. Yeah, he, uh, he's, not, he's, 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 starting to, he's starting to blow hot and cold. Pause. He's spoiling like, on the vine a little bit. I, I don't yeah. see it. No, it's not yeah. even spoiling on the vine. I'm starting to wonder if his level isn't what some people think it is. You know, he's basically... Like, this I, is I, I call cool it, who he uh, is. No, I've called, it a, uh, I've called it a little bit. I think he's going to eventually take an L like the Jahai Tucker L where it's a close decision. You know, because there's been a, two, a lot of... A few fights where, like, the decisions are, like, really, like, pretty close. And, it, and it's logically um, close. And for the record, I don't know if y'all seen it, but 
at the event, he was getting into it with uh, Richardson. Montana. Hitchens. Yeah, Montana. Loves. No, no, Richardson Hitchens. Oh, Hitchens. I mean Hitchens. I mean, oh, yeah, Hitchens. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, getting yeah. into it with Hitchens. They was they was going back and forth and you know talking their shit. Which uh, I don't believe none of you motherfuckers. I I, I don't want to hear Rich. I like Hitchens, but I'm not trying to hear all this tough talk from a guy that's just gonna go in and throw like fisted pillows and not uh, fight aggressively. Like, oh no, I'm gonna fuck you up, yada yada, and then just goes and does back foot boxing. Nah, <laughs> yeah, unanimous. We, we don't believe you. You need more people. Yeah, no. So yeah, more like, than the, the jab, nigga. Yeah, like top rank, uh, and like top rank, like top rank has to realize. Yes, they're in the they're in the enviable position. That like, they're the only boxing promotion that's on regular TV. They they don't run pay per views that often. You know, like so they, they got have, the biggest they have, responsibility. Yeah, they have no excuse to not put their best foot forward on their matchmaking instead of just relying like and again like I said before we, we caught out just them having a main event or having a co event and everything else just be lackluster like honestly there's not I mean outside of the top rank card in Japan you know it's like top rank doesn't it's forgotten like how to make a compelling card domestically like something that's from top to bottom like you know there should be some more like if you're gonna have all your prospects I mean I get it, you, you give your prospects some shine some of them are more than ready for a step up in composition, so to make it so it's not like you know it's another showcase fight. And then, like I said, this main, the main event that we, that we had right now, it just was it, it didn't hit. It wasn't, it. and I won't be surprised if it gets low rated. What do y'all give? What do y'all give? Because I mean, I, I'm gonna be a little positive with Zayas. He is 21, and he did handle a former his first out call who's a former champion. Oh my goodness! I'm just saying, like you know, yeah, a B, a B, a C plus. It's like he's he's C missing plus. that 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 killer instinct. He he C gets plus. like a B, like it's B C plus B minus. I get it's a B minus for me. Like it's just a solid B. Like it, you know, he shows glimpses of like potential where he could be higher than what he looks. But it just, I just kind of felt like he's been at the division, like he's been around for a while, and it's like. Now I need to see him mix it up. You at 154, like, which is always Sharks. You know, I don't think, like, he can't afford to have this this type of temperament if you're going to be at 154. Like, exactly. These dudes are going to make you have to take them out. And if you're not willing to take them out and not that fake take them out shit where you kind of just you stay in front of the opponent and you throw the same two combinations each time <laughs> and, and you don't really try to like dig to the body i, I would say that he's a borderline top, top, you know top 10 like 11 12 at 154 i mean honestly i do think he's 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 a top, top i could say i could see him being you know closer yeah he's like around like he's top 15 but that's the thing like He's, you know, he's looking kind of, because you got to remember, 154 is one of the divisions where it's truly embodies boxing, like theater, theater of the unexpected. It's where a dangerous, it's, it's literally a shark infested division. One, it only takes one night, somebody could have their best game, their best night, and they can become a world champion, or they could be the underdog and then do some crazy shit. Up to the apple cart. Yeah, up to the apple. yeah, you see that at 154 more than anywhere else. So you kind of got to be on your game and can't have dudes hang around for 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to get Mike Jones. Right. So it's like, you know, if you hit hard and you got that work rate, you know, up it. Like, yeah, steady's good, but you, you got to pick your shots better because he, he got the pop and the power. Yeah. You know. Maybe he's got to pick his shots better. I don't know if the power isn't really there. He needed to be digging to the body, bro. Like, he yeah, was yeah, right yeah. there. Like, like a guy like Spence would have stopped this dude. Or he fights in the manner that would have stopped him. Right. <laughs> if that's a better, you know, way to put it. But, yeah, like, I just want to see Zayas, like, you know, step it up. You know, he's solid, but, you know... They billing you as a superstar. They putting you on Puerto Rican weekend and all that shit, nigga. Would like, he definitely beat Vito? Vito because I'm Vito Manuki just signed with them. Would he definitely beat Vito, or is that a, a good fight? That's 50-50. Oh, 
I, I don't know. Like I lean Zayas, but I think, it's I, think I think I might lean towards Zayas. I lean Zayas, but it's a good fight though. They should eventually make that thing, right? Yeah, because Vito. I lean, I lean Zayas because Milneki is not good at all. Because Vito, it, 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 like this would be the poor man's Ramos versus um, what's his name? Damn, Crowley, Crow- Lubin, Crowley. No, Ramos versus the the white kid, yo. Oh, uh, um, Spencer. George Spencer, Spencer, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that this guy is, hasn't been on TV since. <laughs> this is a great value, you know. Um, Ramos versus Spencer. If you make Zayas video, uh, uh, veto, like Zayas would be like maybe the favorite to me sixty forty, but um. Miller Naki, Mil- I mean Miller. Um, Miller Naki. Naki. He might come off more talented, but I don't think he's getting the most out of his abilities and talent. Whereas, I feel like Zayas is like he could give. He could like he has the foundation to give more. But his talent and temperament don't go to don't they ain't run in parallel. They not going together because he got the fitness, he got the ability. Like he need to be like like really steamrolling niggas. Mm-hmm. Like even um Joel Julio, you know was was buzzing harder. Yeah, <laughs> there he was. Yeah, that's a throwback name. If you know, you know. But um. Remember, he was on these ESPN cars getting dudes the fuck up out of there. Yep. I mean, him, him knocking out K9 was one of my favorite. Like, that, that put a big smile on my face. Like, because he beat the shit out of K9. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. he, he had for Uma, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Joe. He had some yeah. until, until he ran into that one nigga that Kodo ran over, literally. Yeah. And now, of course, Joel Julio still fights, though, but, you know, it's nothing. Oh, wow. That's yeah, crazy. it's uh, it, it's actually more sad than anything because, yeah, he's, he's I mean, clearly okay, lost well, several steps. Yeah. That's that's messed up. But yeah, but, yeah, top rank, just to before you segue into the tank card, yeah, top rank, you, y'all have to put on, like, you, y'all, have to, y'all have to be consistent with your cards and who you're putting on them in your matchmaking. Like, you can't sit on your laurels and be like, Oh yeah, you know, because yeah, we're the only yeah, ESPN subsidizes our cards and stuff like that. Like, no, because people are going to turn off. You don't want people to turn off because then you're gonna end up trying to find another home I mean, again. They, I mean, they, they kind of ruined the the, the, the Tiafimo Shakur Thursday nights had a lot of spotlight, and they ruined that shit for casuals. You know, so well, this is the thing: they ruined it, but they didn't try to fix it either. Both of those guys should should be in better fights, mm-hmm. and. They're not fighting better opponents. They're fighting similar level guys who just fought. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, and it's like, like, dude, like, what's the problem here? Like, like, match these guys up against each other. Like, mm-hmm. I'm tired of these damn off brand, like, 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 Murray Tall is fighting Tevin Farmer next, you know? Like, it's like, yeah, like these side mission fights, yo. Like, these are like, like, okay, like, you'll level up a little bit when go this path but it's not the main story like no like like get these niggas some main story fights like Yo, i feel like these fights just go nowhere like yeah because and, 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 like and they have at least four fights that four four cards coming up but like no one's fighting with the exception of oshaki foster no one is fighting anyone that's not they're supposed to be fighting like that's mm-hmm. on their level and that's 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 the sad part yeah, and it's like all these guys are young, like you know, and that's one thing I'll give PBC. Like they somehow just the matches are just more compelling, like from top to bottom. I saw a tweet out there, and I think somebody was saying that um the PBC's preview free cards are like of the same quality or are of higher caliber of the main quality. Yeah. I saw that too. And for this one that's uh, for for this card card that they're not even lying either. Like for the, the pre like the previews yeah. for the uh, like like yo know, the previews for the last for the zoo fundora the 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 previews for that fight. Bojo Chuck Mendoza would be better than this whole card. 
Boho Chuck Mendoza is a better main event you're going to see on Top Ring maybe all year. Thank you. Yes. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's just about. That's that's a better main event than what Top Rank's been doing. Yeah, I mean, I and they got the ability to do better, so I just want to see better. It, exactly. So, but hopefully, ho- I mean, hopefully, I mean, it's either that or we gotta start praying that there's upsets that happen all over the place, and Top Rank has, and the Top Rank has to be forced to make better choices with their matchmaking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and we've been having some upsets this year, so. I mean, not Rock. They got upset, so that's you know. So it's like, but you know what? That 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 was more one of those. We we talked about this, and I don't want to digress too much, but um, like he was getting stale. So hey, let's give it. Let's let's give him the upset. Mm-hmm. And you know how they kind of do that on fighters who, if they're not looking dynamic anymore, or they're just. Winning got winning fights, but they're not like mm, winning fights, mm-hmm. and the fights are getting more competitive not necessarily closer, but sometimes more competitive, more com- closer. You know, the rounds start going against them, and then voila, they, they get upset, they lose, mm-hmm. and they and they don't even lose big or nothing, yeah. So, and, and it's like you don't want those to start happening and you, you damn sure don't want the damn what's that guy uh, those kiko martinez type upsets where yeah. they just <laughs> turn it around and just beat so beat your ass right yeah i, I mean imagine if, if in this in next month Terry farmer beats the shit out of maritala that that's a huge upset like you know like and that could have been a, a an opponent for a, a, a uh, Shakur, uh, Shakur Stevenson, right? So, or uh, uh, what's his name? Or Tia Fimo. Exactly. So I mean, well, they're, they're gonna learn. The, I mean, I mean, like I said, with these cards, I mean, I, 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 I definitely expect there's gonna be one major upset in the next three or four TR cards. Like I, I just see it because it's like you, you can't, you can't keep tempting boxing gods like that, with, and and then eventually, you know, boxing gods don't answer you. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I think we gave we gave the TR card enough bars as it is, man. So 